good morning and welcome to the channel so here is your COVID update i haven't done one in a while south carolina reports 6697 new COVID 19 cases and 39 deaths stay safe wherever you are Hey y'all, welcome back to Tommy's Homestead Garden. Yes, it's been a while since I've been out here doing a video, but this is my countdown video of the things that I will be taking. You already know that I'm gonna take my two peach trees that are in the blue container right there. I'm also gonna be taking my avocado plants. I have uh, three of them and I'll be taking my green olive right here I'm about to, I don't know if I'm going to take the um, sweet potatoes. I probably will. I start to just go ahead and, you know, dig in there and see if I can harvest anything. If so, then I'll do that just to keep from taking it. But I'm about to get, I'm about to throw these items away. Um, these tomatoes, you know, they're gone. I'm definitely taking these. I don't know how long I can be over here because the mosquitoes are so bad. I actually have on a jacket, y'all, a jacket, and it's hot out here. So I have some little peppers that I can get now. Um, then some over here, they're still flowering and everything. So I really don't wanna take these with me, but I'm gonna um, harvest these right now and then I'm gonna toss everything that I'm not taking with me. So I wanted to show you, I have on a jacket, y'all. These mosquitoes, oh my God. I'm about to go in the house and get my little bug fogger thing and spray it in the air and hopefully that'll give me time to get done what I need to get done. So I'll see y'all. So all I'm doing is taking these potatoes that went bad in my sister's drawer and I'm just gonna bury them. And these will hopefully give me a fall harvest. So this is my first planting to get a fall harvest. I'm excited y'all, if y'all don't know, because I've been doing so many grocery, um, not say hauls, but showing you the grocery stores and the shortages and I'm still going to do that but a part of prepping is having a garden and I hope that y'all go on this journey with me it's no science to what I'm doing right now I'm just putting them in the dirt that's it Put some dirt on top, soil on top. And I'm gonna give it a nice little feeding. Dig that one a little bit deeper. Every time I move one, I That's it for planting my potatoes for the fall. So I had to go and find this right here. I hope that it works. I'm not gonna spray over the stuff I'm about to try to harvest, but, ooh, I don't want that coming on me. Okay. Just long enough for me to get what I need to get because what I'm gonna do is dump this stuff should have brought my scissors because I don't have nails and see it's still flowering so I don't know I should keep them These, I'm gonna clean them and I'm gonna freeze them. 
whole branch came off. And go good. And see, these started off like this, but if you leave them on long enough, you'll get your color on them. So that's all I'm gonna harvest from these. This one. So this is my little harvest right here. I think next spring, well, maybe my fault, no. I need to start weighing stuff. I didn't think to do that. We got melons. This one ain't no good. I'm just gonna take it off. Yeah, that's good and rot. And then we got this one. They just not really doing anything. And probably because I haven't been giving them any feeding. <laughs> I've been slacking, lacking, lacking. But it is what it is, y'all. It's all a learning curve. I had a lot going on. So the one thing I do want to plant is I'm going to pull this cucumber up. I did get a big cucumber off of there. So I only got one of these since I, you know, moved this from my other home. I probably could have got more had I been doing the feedings regularly, but I'm trying, when I tell you it's hard to come out here and deal with these doggone mosquitoes, like they will run you up out of here. They are over you like um, buzzards. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, they will run you up out of here, but I'm gonna pull all this up add some more soil to this make my amendments to it and then i'm gonna throw my potatoes in it and then those will go with me so let's get busy look y'all when i pulled up this uh trellis i had a cucumber didn't even know i had it y'all nice so here are my carrots that i just pulled i probably could have left them in there but that would be more I have to take with me. So we just pulled them. Well, I just pulled them. So now I clean, this is all the stuff that I'm taking with me right here. It's not a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then my elephant ears, probably about 15 items. Now, when we moved over here, I had a whole trailer full. Uh, so I'm watering this really, really well. You see it water coming out down at the bottom because I put, I drill holes to the side of my containers as well as underneath. That way, if something gets blocked up, you still have proper drainage and your roots are not just sitting in water. So this is my peach tree right here. My Bell of Georgia. After I get done watering these really good, um, I will be adding the fish fertilizer, the 511. Um, I don't do a lot of 511 just because you know how that song, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, it's better than y'all. Okay, so that's what happens with the fish fertilizer. It's not gonna bring the boys to the yard but it's gonna bring the flies to the yard. But the stuff does work. So I use it sparingly. And you can see this soil is really, really dry. It's been raining a lot here and nothing is better than God's water. But y'all, I need to do a good soak on these right here. Um, because I won't be able to soak them next week because it'll just be too heavy to lift. Um, so after this good soak they're getting right now, look, that one's still draining out. This one's starting to drain out. They'll just get whatever God gives them before we move um, next weekend. God willing, of course. Okay, so 
I shook this up real good. I poured it in here. I thought I was recording it. I don't think I got it at all. And then I added water to this. And then now I'm just pouring this in. And that's gonna help give it the nutrients that it's been missing. It's probably like, oh my God, lady, where have you been all my life? So what I'm gonna do is add some soil to that white bin with the potatoes that I planted today. Today's date, I'll put it in there. I can't think of it right this minute. It's Friday though, however, and I will um, we'll be watching the growth of those potatoes. So let me finish doing all of this stuff and y'all have a very blessed day. I'm giving this a good dose because I'm not gonna be feeding it anytime soon so i'm gonna show you real quick what i did since i accidentally didn't hit the button or it didn't click i'm just adding some of this to it i don't measure it and this stuff is stank and it just got on my hand okay the water is going to mix it up so I don't have to stir it. But you can put these in buckets and make it like a five gallon bucket and mix it that way and then add it to your container. I just find that just takes forever. And then we just go on to the next one and give it a feeding. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button because it does help the channel. Okay, so now these are my elephant ears. Her name is Annie. I named her after my mom because this was my mom's elephant ear. And Annie was pretty much beyond repair to the average person's eye. But I would not let her go. So you see the yellowing of the leaves right there is because she needs some nutrients. So they're about to get a dose of the 511. Um, honestly, Annie was about, see that root right there? She was about like that root right there. And now look at her. God is good and amazing so i'm gonna soak these really good and then i'm gonna add the 511 and i'll be done in this little area